experiment one is to display mirrorbot in our base. Our base is short for growth visualization tool. So if you have no idea what our base is, you can search that in Google. So basically it will point you to this web page where the RVs package has been explained in details. Uh, basically, the RVs is a 3D visualization tool for Roast. It provides a view of your Roast model, as well as the sensor data captured by camera, lasers, and the movement of your robot. So in our experiment, we try to use RVs to display our robot model, that is the mirror bolt. So there are two steps and they are very simple. First, we need to copy the URDF files we generated. Typically they are stored in a folder and uh, copy the files to the Rolls workspace. So if you have no idea what Rolls workspace is, you can also search that in Google. So. Uh, so basically, it will point you to this web page. Um, it tells about how to uh, create a workspace for caching. Caching is a compiler to in ROS. So the tutorial will tell you what the workspace is, how you can configure the workspace in your computer environment. So you can follow that. It's very straightforward and self-explanatory. And I also want to point out that this command you uh, set up your Rose workspace correctly. When you call this command, then echo Rose package pass, it will display the directories that has been configured as Rose workspace. For example, if I call this command here in my computer, it shows two directories. One is this home, the David Z work Rose kinetic SRC. It is my own Rose workspace. And the other is opt uh, slash row slash connected and share. This is a default system uh, devices, a system directory when you install ROS in your computer. So now what we need to do is to copy the UDR, UDR files in this folder. So these URDF files are already being open sourced. So they're available in the GitHub with this repo, so you can copy and paste this address in your browser. It will point you to this GitHub repo, uh, in which you will see that there are three uh, folders, Mirabot Gizbo, Mirabot Nuit Config, and Mirabot URDF. And, two. and this contains the files we need for not only this experiment, but also the other experiments as well. So I highly recommend you can uh, download the report to your computer and especially to the to your Rose workspace folder. So what you can do here is that we can first go to this uh, Rose workspace and you can call a function called git clone to copy this GitHub repo to the current folder. So anyway. I run it fail because I already have cloned this report to my growth workspace as well. So what I need to do is to enter this folder and you can see there are several subfolders I already introduced it to. And also next I have to enter this folder, mirrorbolt URDF2. And enter this launch subfolder. So here is some uh, launch file. Rose launch uh, is a uh, very handy tool. It allow you to call a script to specify which programs that you want to uh, ex execute, and also the necessary parameters that you want to specify. So it's a uh, very handy tool. If you want to know them, you can also uh, search Rose launch in Google, in Google, and they can point you the detailed tutorial about the Rose launch. So now, just remember, those launch is a collection of script that specify which program they want to execute and the as well as the parameters they need. So in this case, in our second step, which is called the load launch display URDF, 
dot launch to build the mirror world model in our base package. So we can copy and paste this command here. Yeah, run this. We'll see um, this is a, a joint say publisher a window where you can change the value of the position of the joints. And then here in this uh, GUI window, you will see that our mirror board model has been perfectly displayed in this space. You can zoom in and change your perspective to see it from different angle. And uh, when you change the value of this joint, for example, if I move this bar, you can see that the robot is moving accordingly. And so basically, this joint state publisher to, to change the value of the, the position of this um, different joints and this change the uh, position will be sent to uh, the Arbit package and then change its position of the joints uh, accordingly. So you can play with it to see how the position of the mirror board has been changed and uh, which joint has been moved if I grab the different bars shown you here. So, okay, but that is basically what the experiment one is uh, is showing you, but to give you a further detailed information, I can show you a little bit about the details uh, about the display URD for the launch. So if I open it, In this launch file, you see that there are three nodes defined here. If you are familiar with the roles in the roles environment, it treats each program as a node. And the data communication between the nodes is accomplished through messaging mechanism. So each node will define a certain number of mess messengers to publish or subscribe. So uh, you can check on that using this handy tool that is called load graph and QT graph. In this graph, you will see how the data and messages is sending and receiving between different nodes. So in this case, you can see here, there are two nodes and one is the joint state publisher and one is the robot state publisher. So the joint state publisher will publish the messenger called joint state. That's basically the value that is the position of the joints is defined in the robot. That is this small, this small window. So when we change the value here and uh, uh, the joint state publish this node, we will publish the change the values of the joints and uh, send this message to the robot state publisher. So the robot state publisher will encapsulate these uh, values and transform it, it into a uh, TF on TF state messaging. And this messenger is uh, ready to be used by the RBS package and it shows the relative trend, trend, relative position and rotation between these joints. So in this way, it can move the joints um, according in referring to the world coordinate system. So if you are interested about these two nodes, join the state publisher and drop the state publisher, you can search them in Google. And here is a detailed tutorial to talking about the development package called Joint State Publisher. And uh, I want to highlight one thing that this package usually be used in conjunction with the robot state publisher. And these two together can generate very handy messages that is called the TF messages, the transformation matrix, basically. So the transformation matrix that defines the relative position and rotation between different body coordinate systems. For example, as you can see in the finger, in the PLS robots, there are many, many different coordinate systems defined in different um, sensors or the, the arms or the heads, some, something like that. And the transformation metric defines the relative position and rotation between these um, coordinate systems. Using this coordinate system, that we can know that exactly each joint uh, is moving according to the other joints. So, yeah, basically, uh, let's go back to the launch file. These two generated the 
um, TF messaging that defines the relative position and the rotation between these joints. And then the RBs is the packaging we are using to display this 3D model. And then it will load this uh, URDF RBs uh, file. Basically, this file contains the configurator uh, which parts need to be displayed, which parts we, we don't want to, we are not interested. So if you, um, and this file is defined in this, in this folder here, if you check this, um, you here and enter the robot you want to do here. This is the configure of the RBs Packager uh, we are using here. So basically, this is everything. I I think you need to practice with experiment one. So good luck.